So what has city council been up to for the last year and a half? What all has been accomplished? Is anything really any different? Well, first of all, my why for being persistent and dedicated to our city is that Alpine is extraordinary geographically, culturally, demographically. We all know that the people here are second to none. And when a city is unable to take care of its basic needs, infrastructure, which means water, wastewater, roads, as well as safety and security with police, if we are unable to take care of those things, then we can't take care of the things that affect quality of life. And if we're not improving our quality of life, then a town starts to decline. So it's important that Alpine continue to do both in order to thrive. We have to take care of the basic needs and we also have to take care of our quality of life. Alpine is on the cusp of greatness and it is going to take some hard work, creative thinking and grit to accomplish this. After all, Alpine is where the extraordinary begins. We have extraordinary people. We have an extraordinary town. One of the things that City Council has worked on is keeping everyone updated. Keeping everyone updated on events through Facebook, city meeting reminders, city council meetings, and events that are happening around the town. All these things are getting posted on the city website as well as on Facebook. Also, we've started the Mayor video series, and we post those on Facebook, our city YouTube channel, and the city website. Other things that have been accomplished is the mayor is the emergency management coordinator for the city. And I have taken this very seriously. I've attended trainings, including emergency management with NIM Kid, MPA, CEM, all hosted by Al Talverett. Also, we have an agreement now with the county for our city residents to sign up for HyperReach. The instructions on how to do this are on the city website, Facebook, and also the county website. We have been in discussions with the county judge and other members from Jeff Davis County, Presidio County, and Brewster County about a regional EMS sometime in the future. We worked with the judge and the city manager to start the new fire department board which is gonna increase funding to our fire department and also training opportunities so that they can be second to none. We updated an ordinance based on a resident's complaint regarding old tires. The mayor is supposed to sit on the Alpine Housing Authority Board and that seat has been filled this year, whereas it has not been filled in many years past. As the mayor, I'm on and I attend as many nonprofit meetings as I can, such as the Alpine Community Projects Group, where their focus has been on finding child care for the city. When the city of Alpine heard of an opportunity for funding, we passed that on to the Alpine Community Projects, who passed that on to AISD. And Dr. Michelle Reinhardt has taken off with that. And as you know, we now have a child care center in Alpine. On Tuesday, November 14th, I've called a special meeting so we can discuss funding for Alpine ISD child care in order to decrease the rates that parents and guardians have to pay in order to have their child there. Also, the Alpine Historic Association with cultural events such as, such as the July 4th picnic. And also, December 1st, there will be the Wassail Crawl and shopping opportunities. And December 2nd, our annual Christmas stroll. We have ghost tours. We had the Hispanic Heritage event. We have mural tours, things that affect quality of life. Also, I'm a member of the Ambassadors Club the Alpine Business Alliance, which is working from the ground level on building economic development and restarting something, a chamber of commerce or an economic development board or something along those lines to help in economic development. Members from this group have been going to other cities to talk with them about what they've done for economic development. 
Also at the Lions Club, I'm a member and I attend the women's club meetings as often as possible. This helps me keep up with what's happening in Alpine and it enables me to serve as a liaison between the groups so that they can combine efforts when they are working on the same goal, such as economic development. Alpine Community Project started talking about economic development and I was able to combine them with the Alpine Business Alliance who was working on that. Also talking about housing and creating a historic district. I try to attend as many hospital district board meetings as possible so that I know what's going on as far as assisted living care. That's a topic that's coming up on this Tuesday's agenda. As long as it doesn't conflict with my schedule, it helps me to stay in the loop. I help to get a road work map up on our website, which updates residents on where road work is occurring and what is supposed to happen next. With that, we've had more workshops than any recent previous councils, including a road workshop where AISD lent us one of their buses so that city council and residents were able to drive the streets of Alpine and make a list of those that need repair, which ones are in worse shape, what needs to be done, where repaving might work, or seal coating. We went to the city yard and looked at equipment and have a plan now, a strategic plan on how to tackle the problem with our roads. Also, I worked on a resolution with the homeless we have a new radio talk show to keep residents up to date on what's going on in the city. It's called City Talk. It airs every other Thursday at 9.05. We have formed a leadership huddle, which includes the president of Sewell Ross, the superintendent of AISD, the CEO of the hospital. It includes the executive director of the hospital district, the city manager, myself, and some business partners, as well as some of the presidents from these nonprofits. We get together monthly to talk about what's going on, how can we help each other, and what's the plan so that we can work together. Also, I'm working with an AISD program called Access to help form a pipeline between the high school, the university, and businesses clinics, hospitals, or the hospital here in Alpine to keep our young people here and to have a pipeline of professional workers. We also worked with the county to clean up a lot of old tires. Pool fees were restructured. The clocks in town were repaired. They weren't working. And with that, I was able to initiate a new volunteer program where we can have residents come in and volunteer with their expertise to help. You would need to go to City Hall and make sure you fill out the appropriate forms. I'm working with the Lions Club for new benches for our park, our new park, Pueblo Nuevo, working on increasing civic engagement. We have a new noise ordinance and as the emergency manager, one of the first things I worked on was the emergency sirens to get those working up and going. We have worked on building and standards for condemned buildings. We have a condemned building that's getting ready for demolition. I worked with the Big Ben Action Community Committee, Naomi, to add water as part of the coverage that they can do for residents. Now, the organization that's now in charge of helping residents is South Plains Community Action Association. They do the same thing that Big Ben Action Committee used to do. SBDC, we asked them to do a cost of living survey for Alpine, and we have that completed. We're going through the data. We have housing coming. Skyway Gardens is building a second edition and they will honor their deal and pave the road, Lechaguia, once they complete the construction of the new annex so the trucks don't tear up the road. 
Planning and Zoning Commission, they are working on getting an updated zoning map. They are talking about a historic district overlay. All zoning changes since 2013, they sat and went through all the ordinances looking for changes and they recorded those so that we can have an accurate map. We're looking at controlling the growth of detrimental businesses to small economies. They are doing in-person visits of sites and they are looking at a possible sign ordinance. We also did a post office cleanup. We are now looking at chapter 23, which is an ordinance regarding our city council meetings. And we're going through and updating how we will run our meetings. I reached out to Chris James of United Grocers when the porters combined into the one location to see if they would be interested in coming to Alpine. Also, there was a Smithsonian grant that a resident sent to me that looked very interesting. So I passed that on to Chris Ruggia, Wendy Little, Mary Bones, and Heather Yaden, and they applied for that. We are working on rewriting the charter. The last time it was revised was in 2005. Should be revised every couple of years to keep up with changes in state laws, as well as changes in demographics, population, and the overall culture of the city. There's some things that need to be changed in there. So we will be bringing those to a resident vote as propositions, hopefully in May of 2024. If you have any input on what you would like to see done, please send an email to me or your council member. In the future, we're looking for policies to help economic growth, policies and procedures for how the city donates to nonprofits, a policy for zero scaping incentives since we do live here in the desert and water is very important. I plan to hold another government class. I held a government 101 in the summer and I'm looking to hold government 201. The current council is very exciting. We have a lot of very smart, independent thinkers on it who are willing to research and do the homework and make informed decisions. And they are willing also to reach out to the residents for opinions and input. They are going to vote their conscience. They will not vote, vote with a block. They will vote what they think on each item independently based on what they think is best for Alpine. So 2024, y'all, is going to be a huge year in many different ways, including child care, health care, economic growth and development, as well as housing and infrastructure. After all, Alpine is where the extraordinary begins. I hope y'all have a great evening. My cat's telling me that it's time for us to go to bed. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.